Yeah, Devante, you really seem to uh, fill a position of need for K-State. How do you approach the competition aspect of, uh, of the position? Um, I would like to say I'm a hardworking player. I've always been hardworking. I came ready here to work. Uh, I'm a straight up guy. Tell me how to get it done and I get it done. Um, I really came here to work, work my way to the top. As Coach Malone would always say, like, be your role or be, do your role and do it at an excellent level. Whatever my role is for this team, I'm here to win it. As uh, Braden said, we're here to win Big 12 championships. Is there a kind of a coach or a peer that you've uh, learned that work ethic from? Um, here at Kansas State? Uh, anywhere in your life. Um, my coaches back at Gardner, uh, Gardner High School, um, Coach Cornelson, Coach Semino, Semino's been here. They really like installed to me that like you got to work for you what you want. You got to work everything what you want. Um, you got to put in forth effort because if you don't, talent can only get you so, uh, so much wear in life and everything. So they really like what distilled in me to like work for what I want. And what was the biggest vibe you got from uh, Coach Semino about K-State? Coach, he loved it. He had an amazing time here. Uh, great, great people, great university. Everyone cares about everybody. Everyone's friendly and everything. Thank you, Devontae. No problem. Derek. Hey, Devontae. Did, would you say that uh, you sold uh, Taylor Warner and Austin Weiner on Kansas State, or was it the other way around? I, I Yeah, I definitely sold them on Kansas State. Taylor Warner committed before me, but he he really didn't, like, recruited me that much or whatever because he was the class above me. But I definitely saw Austin Weiner on this campus because I told him about all the stories about like the OU game two years ago in K State in the family and the environment is just so amazing to be here. And that first win for Chris Kleiman against Oklahoma was in Manhattan. I think you visited for that game. That was uh, yeah. kind of the jumping off point for you, right? That kind of sold you on the Wildcats. Yeah, that it was the game also, but it was just everything before the game, like. Taylor showed me around campus, all the coaches like greeting me. And I know how that is. But like when I first came here, it felt like an overall family, like they truly care about their players and not just, oh, you're another dude on the roster. Who do you foresee is probably going to be like your, I guess you could say mentor now that you're at K-State? Who, who's that either player or coach that you're probably going to look up to the most? Player I'm going to look up to, and I've admired uh, – is Deuce Vaud and um, uh, uh, J Mac uh, thirty one. I, I can't. I can't remember. His, I can't think of his first name. Jerome McPherson. Yes, I'm gonna look up to them because I've heard they they work hard. Like you see Deuce Vaud. Like I he lives like downstairs from me, but he's just like the most humblest guy. J Mac works all hard under the like under the scenes and everything. And I just want to be around those guys to keep me just like that when I grow up and be that way and to get on the field.